Alright, so today I decided to make a uh, tutorial. Now this isn't a Christian kit tutorial or uh, any kind of modding tutorial. This is more of a, uh, I guess, miscellaneous tutorial. It has nothing to do with modding or... It's related to modding, actually, but it's not uh, specifically to do with uh, modding. So this is something that I've known about for a little bit, a little while I've known about this. Uh, it's something that, I mean, I kind of knew was possible, but I never really, like, figured it out uh, in such a concise and um, quick manner, I guess. Uh, it has to do with files that are archived, uh, hidden, or deleted. Now. I'm sure you've come across this issue before where you used to have a mod that you really liked and when you recently revisit it, you say you clicked on a Google link, it led you to a page that's since been deleted. So this is Serana Expanded Dialogue Editions and it has been deleted. Now the reasons for this being deleted is a controversy with the newest uh, uh, audio synthesizer, a site called Eleven Labs. Uh, now, this is a weird hot topic because there has been use of AI in generating voice lines for years. There's, a, I think, XVA synth and a few other programs that people use, but this one has really gotten people up in arms. So you're going to be seeing a lot of mods that pop up, either using uh, Eleven Labs and then got deleted, or something similar. So this is this happens to be one of the casualties and it has not been uploaded uh, re-uploaded since and the author has gone MIA so I'm gonna be teaching you how to download this file now you see it says not found it doesn't say anywhere you can download it so I'm gonna be showing you how so I've created this lovely little text document right here which shows how to download a archived file and a hidden or deleted file so I'm going to be making use of a, pro, uh, a website called Wayback Machine. Now you may have used this before for other purposes. It's very useful in uh, finding a page that's since been deleted. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be taking this file, this uh, right here. So I'm going to be copying and pasting it here, and then press Enter. Now, as you can see here, it has been saved a few times. I'm going to just click on this one. This is the latest one right here. And last time I checked it, it was fine. It should still be here. Yes. So here we go. This is a, the description page. So everything here has been archived. So you can see what the mod does. You can see uh, who it's by, everything. It's even the files. So, look, so the files is probably the most important tab. Uh, if this tab has not been archived, then you're basically screwed, unless you find, like, if, unless someone else has uh, downloaded it, and it doesn't show how many downloads it has, but uh, there's most likely, uh, either on Reddit or Discord, their servers you can find these files on, but I'm going to go to files here. And when it loads... Okay, so this is perfect. So you can see it's right here. Now, when you try to click download, it probably won't do anything. Uh, and that's fine because, uh, well, let me just try it because I'm not sure what that does. Does it do anything? I'd be surprised if it did. I don't, yeah, see, I don't see anything like. Yeah, it, it doesn't work. I mean, you have to be logged in anyways to download it, but the way I'm going to be showing you, you do not have to be logged in. So basically what you're going to want to do is go here, go here, go here. Now that we're here, we're going to want to inspect element on the file you want to download. So I'm going to click inspect, and then I'm going to go up to this right here, and I'm going to do edit as HTML. I'm going to go back to my text document, and I'm going to grab this link right here. So this is the link you want. Uh, now there's two things you're going to have to do with this, and I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to do Control-Copy, Paste, 
and uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is grab the uh, data ID for the file. So this is 370098. Make sure you get the whole code and do control copy. And then right here, I'm going to re replace that, control V, and then click out of it. Now go back to the text document, which I will link and find. This is a Skyrim special edition, so I'm going to be grabbing the 1704 right here. Control copy. And then game ID, I'm going to paste that right here. So I'm going to do enter. And now, what do you know? Here is the file. So now I can download it. And it downloads just fine, as you can see. Should take a little bit, but... Uh, it should download. And that's how you download a deleted or hidden file. And, um, you don't, yeah, you don't even need to be, well, actually, do you need to be logged? You might need to be logged in, actually, because I, yeah, you probably have to be logged in. I haven't tested it because, but it, sh it shouldn't really matter anyways, because the file will be here forever, because Nexus Archives every single file that's being uploaded to the servers. Even files that have been quarantined have been uploaded, and you can download those as well, although obviously I don't recommend downloading quarantine files, but there are occasions where sometimes there's a false positive, but um, I'm not going to be showing you how to do that, however, that's at your own risk. Now, this is uh, pretty cool, so I'm going to be showing you now how to get a archived mod. So, say you want enhanced blood textures. Now, I'm going to go into here, file archive. Now, these files you cannot download. They are just here. So, I'm going to be going into, again, inspect element right here. And going up right here. So, I want this file. So find link to archive mod, go to the file archive, inspect element, and then you wanna grab the data ID right here. Now before I do that, I'm going to go to the address bar and remove everything after the mod. So I'm gonna go backspace and then click. And then I'm gonna go back here, I'm going to grab this right here, and I'm gonna paste it there. And then I'm going to grab the data ID for the archived file that I want to download. I'm going to paste that there and then click enter. And now, here we go. Now I can download this archived file. And that's it. That's all I have to show you. And you can do this again with any mod you want. Uh, if you can't find, if you can't get into the archives, some mod authors cho choose to not let you go into the, uh, for instance, the uh, unofficial Skyrim special edition patch. This file uh, contains seven archives that are unavailable to browse. So you need to go paste this into the Wayback Machine. And as you can see, there are a bunch here. Okay, so let's go to January and see which version is available to download. In January, it was version 4.2.8. Let's do inspect. Right here. Edit is HTML. I'm going to delete this, delete this, going to grab this, and then I'm going to quickly grab this, just to show you how easy it is, and there you go, 4.2.8, just like that, just from using the Wayback Machine and browsing to your heart's content. So, uh, that's the video. Uh, this, again, this is going to be a controversial video, but, you know, this is all public information, public knowledge. You can do this, you know, whenever you want. So, that's it.